Today we present episode 5, The House in Upheaval, Josh the Devil. After Kamala leaves Samantha upset, Josh climbs down from his window to go after Kamala, and Joey gets really pissed when he discovers Josh's sneak out. Samantha pleads with Joey not to confront Josh, but Joey refuses, perplexed why she even cares, and starts grilling her, suspecting that Josh and Kamala, who he believes is a boy, are plotting something. Giselle tells her Josh has to be punished for this, and insists that Joey go easy and calm down, when suddenly a loud thud is heard from Josh's room. On the floor and confronted, Josh denies his escape. But Giselle says they know he's lying, and Samantha knows where he's been. Josh calls Samantha a liar, and she cries and runs into her room. Joey, mad as hell, yells and threatens Josh. Giselle tries to comfort Samantha, who keeps asking her to leave until she gets self-pitying, causing Samantha to give her a compliment and a hug. Joey smugly touts his in intimidation of Josh to a very tired Giselle who says he's going about it the wrong way and shares her victory of getting a hug from Samantha but he retorts she's too soft and they argue till she finally gives in to get peace and closes her eyes while Joey after going on about his intention to confront Samantha about her black boyfriend in the morning finally rolls over to sleep Josh quietly enters Samantha's room to make her a deal for phone time, blackmailing that he knows something about Kamala. After haggling over the terms, she presses him to live up to his side of the deal, in which she reveals that she's dating Kamala, and he learns she's not a boy, but trans. She agrees to let him use the phone under her supervision, but then she soon falls asleep. He goes on porn sites and does a crypto transaction. Kamala texts Samantha and he skillfully plays along, fooling her until he suggests sexting. And now, without further ado, let's enjoy the episode. Chrysalis, The Family Adventures, Episode 5, The House in Upheaval, Josh the Devil. Faded. Voiceover, previously on Chrysalis, The Family Adventures. External, outside the house, night. Kamala. Good night, Samantha. It's late. She walks off. Samantha stands there in the night, stunned with a million emotions running through her. Up in one of the second story house windows is Josh looking out at the whole scene, unbeknownst to anyone. Cut to... Internal, Samantha's bedroom, night. Image, text, Kamala. Did you know your brother stalked me? Samantha looks surprised and upset looking at her phone. Cut to Joey, off screen from outside in the hallway. Oh, he's in big trouble now. Giselle, off screen with him. Joey, don't. Come on. Joey, off screen, snickering cleverly. We're going to wait right here in his room and give him the scare of his life. Giselle, off screen. Joey, please, shh, don't start that. Caption. And now, uninterrupted, internal, upstairs hallway night. Samantha comes out of her room and turns to her parents. Samantha, with firmness. Mom and Dad, don't. Joey. Don't what? I had a hard day. I'm not in much of a mood to please anyone. Samantha moves closer to her dad with sweetness. Samantha, listen, Daddy, I know he broke the rules, but think about it. He can't use his phone. He can't go out. He can't go to school. Joey, they should have kept him in school. That would be a better punishment. Samantha, yeah, but listen, it doesn't matter what the punishment is. The point is, he's got it bad. Giselle, haggard, exhausted. He did something very wrong, honey, and now he's done something wrong again to make it even worse. Samantha, yeah, but just let him have this one. He can't talk to anyone. All he wanted to do was meet someone new, looking in Joey's eyes. Please, Dad. Joey, 
Hey, wait a minute. Why are you taking his side? You never take his side. What did he pay you? I can't believe that bastard is throwing around money when he owes us so much, Samantha. He didn't pay me anything. But trust me, it can't get any worse for him. Joey, what do you know? You have to tell. Samantha, imploringly. I can't, Daddy. Giselle, honey, I'm so happy to see you caring about your brother, but he stole from his parents. He destroyed school records. If we don't punish him, he's going to think it's okay to go out whenever he pleases, and then we're putting the whole town at risk. He could be out there committing a crime right now. Caption. And now, continuing on in and out of the cocoon, theme music, display, caption, the family adventure continues. <laughs> Samantha, I know for a fact he's not committing a crime. Plus, I know for a fact he's about to walk through that door, and he'll be broken up and hurting. Both Giselle and Joey look reluctant and uncomfortable. Joey, how do you know so much? Samantha. Let's just say I have my connections. Joey, it's that boy, I know it. Samantha, what boy? You don't mean Kamala. Joey, yeah, that one. Samantha, Dad, Kamala is not a boy. Stop with that. Joey, eyes wide in anger. He's helping him, I know. Boys always stick together in crime. Giselle, oh, Joey, he's not doing that. I mean, she's not doing that. Please, let's go to bed and deal with Josh in the morning. Joey, you go to bed then. Ever since we found out about the credit card scam, I've wanted to lay into him, and he's done everything to piss me off even more. Getting real excited now. And I still haven't gotten the chance to lay into him, and he finds another way to piss the crap out of me. Giselle, reaching over to comfort and restrain him, putting her arms around him. It's been like that forever. It's been like that for all of us. How do you think I feel? Joey, like you want to stop me every chance I get to beat some sense into that delinquent. Suddenly, a loud noise from Josh's bedroom is heard, like a bang or a thud, followed by a series of lesser noises, completely stopping the three of them in startled shock. Giselle, like the wind's been knocked out of her. Oh my God! Joey, turning in anger. What the hell? Internal, Josh is reunited. The room is dark. Josh is on the floor between his bed and a widely open window, catching his breath and his balance. On the other side of the bed, in the open doorway, stand Joey, Giselle, and Samantha. Josh, with heavy breath, half whispering. Oh, shit. Joey, look at that trying to show off and impress us that he can sneak out the window and come back in. Josh, I wasn't sneaking out the window. I just fell off the bed. Joey, you've been having a lot of chest falls lately. Maybe we ought to send you to a rheumatologist. How come the window's wide open and it's not a warm night? Giselle, Josh, we know you were out. Josh, no I wasn't. I've been inside the whole time. I just open the window to get air. It gets really stuffy when you're forced to stay here. Joey, oh, I would really like to take a swing at him now. Giselle, Joey, you've done great up to now. Don't spoil it. Josh, we know you're lying. Samantha knows where you've been. Samantha, horrified. Um, Josh, how the... Collects himself. No, she doesn't know anything. To Samantha. Why'd you lie like that? Samantha, crying. I didn't lie. I was trying to protect you. Josh. What? Joey. Why would you protect him? None of this makes sense. So you were in on this too? Samantha. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Joey and Josh, almost simultaneous. Do what? Samantha walks out in tears. Josh walks after her, but stops before the door and turns back. Giselle, Joey, no violence. She goes. Joey looks hard and sternly at his son. Joey, all right, you want to tell me what's going on? Or do I have to beat the crap out of you first? He just sits and stares at Josh with great discomfort. Josh looks relaxed like a prisoner resigning himself to fate. 
Joey. I'm gonna make a lock and put it on the window. I should have beat the crap out of you before when I didn't. And what'd you get your sister involved in this for? This is your problem. I don't want you being a bad influence on her. Josh, I didn't do anything with her. She was lying. They continue to sit and face each other with strong discomfort. Joey, what's wrong with you? I didn't raise you to be like this. I only taught you respect and decency, treating everybody right. But you go and turn everything around just to piss everybody off. Well, let me tell you something. From now on, you're going to be the good boy I taught you to be, not the monster you've been. I don't care what anyone else in this house says. Not Mom, not Samantha, certainly not Grandpa. You don't even live here. From now on, you start acting up, you're going to feel it, and it's going to hurt. I don't care. Let them report me to the cops. I'm friends with most of them anyway, so it ain't going to do you no good. You got me? Joey just stares. Josh just stares. Joey, getting louder, angrier. I said, you got me? Josh, defeated. Yeah. Joey, say yes. Josh, with slight anger. I did. Joey, not yeah, yes. Now say it. Josh, barely muttering. Yes. Joey, now thank you, Dad, for not beating the crap out of me. Josh looks at him perplexed. Joey, really angry. Say it. Josh, showing his anger. Say what? Joey, thank you for not beating the crap out of me. Josh, I gotta say that? Joey moves closer to him and moves his right arm, fist first, to put around Josh's neck. Josh gets frightened. Joey, real angry. Say it! Josh, all right, tell me again what to say. Joey, you moron, you can hack my account and school records. And you can't even get a simple phrase right with more force. Thank you, Dad, for not beating the crap out of me. Josh, with great reluctance. Thank you, Dad, for not beating the crap out of me. Joey, yelling. Now say it again, like you mean it. Josh, with perturbed anger, louder. Thank you, Dad, for not beating the crap out of me. Joey, yelling. Again! Josh, now sincere. Come on, Dad, leave me alone already. Joey moves back closer to Josh, scaring him. Joey, say it. Josh, feeling fear and his stubborn resistance. All right, thank you, Dad, for not beating the crap out of me. You happy? Joey, no, I'm not happy, because I'd rather beat the pissing crap out of you. Josh, smirking. That's diarrhea. Joey, what the? Josh, pissing crap is the same as diarrhea. Joey, yeah, and that's what you'll be crapping out the next time you do something like this. Internal, Samantha's room. Giselle, what's going on, Samantha? You've been acting really strange. Samantha is sobbing, her face in her chest on the bed. Giselle, I know whatever it is is not easy to confide, but it's the only way. Samantha, I'm sorry, Ma, but please go away. You can't help me. Giselle, it's Josh, right? You tried to help him and he hurt you, calling you a liar. Samantha, no, it's not that. It's something else. I'm through helping him anyway. You want to beat him up, go ahead. Samantha, I know you don't mean that. Just the way you said that tells me it really meant a lot to you to help your brother. Samantha, Ma, please go away. Giselle, all right, honey. I've been kicked in the stomach over and over. Don't worry about my own daughter kicking me out of her room. Your mother will be just fine. Samantha, yeah, I know. That's why I know I can count on you. Giselle, wow, I didn't expect a compliment. Samantha, with a tender smile. Yeah, Ma. Giselle, although it still sounds more like an insult than a compliment, she walks out. Samantha gets up and grabs her from behind and gives her a hug. Giselle, breathing out, still feeling self-pity, but also her daughter's love. Oh, baby. Internal. Joey's in Giselle's bedroom at night. Joey and Giselle are in bed. Everything she says in the following conversation is with utter exhaustion. Joey, I think I finally got through to him. Giselle, what'd you do? Joey, I just laid down the law. I told him I wasn't going to do anything now, but if he acted up, it was going to hurt. 
Giselle. I'm proud of you, Joey. I know it took a lot to restrain yourself. You think you got through to him? Joey. Yeah, he looked pretty scared. Giselle. Are you scared? Is that your idea of resolving issues? Joey. Yeah, that's the only language those kind of people understand. Giselle. Those kind of people? He's your son, not some criminal. Joey. After all he's done, you're still defending him? Giselle, exasperated. I'm not defending him, but I was hoping you could get him to change his heart, not just get scared. Joey, oh yeah? How did it go with Samantha? Giselle, it actually went quite well after she blew me off at first. Joey, so what happened with Samantha? Giselle smiles a little smug. She gave me a hug. Joey, a hug? That was it? Just like that she gave me a hug? Giselle, you ain't gonna let go of this, are you? Joey, you've been pestering me all day and night about Josh. Lay off and don't hit him. No, I ain't gonna let it go. Come on, spill the beans. Giselle, look, she was just upset about something but didn't want to talk about it. Joey, it's that boy. And of course you gave in to her. Some disciplinarian you are. Giselle, I'm not trying to discipline her. I'm trying to communicate with her. Maybe if you'd stop intimidating everybody, carrying on like you're the king of the house, she'd open up more. Joey, that ain't never going to happen. Giselle, then don't complain when your children do stuff that upsets you. Nobody likes feeling they can't do nothing they want. Joey, they can do some things they want. They just have to be the right things. Giselle, we're talking about teenagers here. Come on, have some compassion. Joey, I have lots of compassion. I didn't beat the crap out of Josh. I let Samantha bring her friends up to her room as long as they're girls. Giselle, all right, Joey, at this point, I'm way beyond tired. You want to be right? Fine, you're right. I'm going to bed. She turns over. Joey, I don't want to be right because you give it to me. I want you to see that I'm right. Giselle, good night, Joey. Joey, something else was bothering her. It's that black boyfriend of hers who started all the trouble. Giselle, half muffled in her pillow. Okay, fine, let's go to bed. Joey, I knew it. Well, I'm going to have a talk with that girl in the morning. Tell her the black boy's trouble. Giselle, oh my God, I can't believe you're not tired. Good night, Joey. He gives her a look, shrugs, and and lies down finally, his eyes closing rapidly. Internal. Samantha's bedroom night. Samantha is in bed, a movie playing on her phone. It is pitch dark, except for the movie, which is the only sound. Samantha facing right straight to the camera view. What are you doing here? Go away. To her left in the dark. Josh. Samantha, don't be mad at me. I had to say that to cover for myself. Samantha. You know you suck at lying. But she really sucked to drag me into your problems like that. Are you aware I was trying to help you? Josh, yes I am. I'm sorry I said that, now that I know that. Can we be friends now? Samantha, you need me, don't you? She makes the volume on the phone lower, so the sound of the movie is faint. Josh, yes I do. You're my last hope. Samantha, okay, how come you need me? Josh, I need to borrow your phone. Samantha, are you kidding? Josh, well, I know something about your friend. Samantha, a little little alarmed. What do you know about her? Josh, wait a minute, not so fast. What about the phone? Samantha, you trying to bribe me? Josh, no, just trying to be a friend. It helps you if you have something your friend needs. That way, you know they'll be a better friend to you. Samantha, Oh, brother, you've got so much to learn about friendship. It's not funny. Anyway, what do you know about Kamala? Josh, let me borrow the phone. Samantha, are you kidding? That's got all my personal stuff on there. Josh, you want me to tell mom and dad what I know about your friend? Samantha, damn, you're pure evil. All right, you can borrow my phone. But I have to see what you're doing with it at all times, much as that thought reviles me. Josh, wait a minute, no way. I don't want you looking over my shoulder. Come on, I need some privacy. 
Samantha. I got news for you. The government and Google are watching you all the time. Josh, yeah, but it's different when you don't see or feel them watching you. Samantha, yeah, that's probably why you're in so much trouble in the first place. Josh, so you mean you don't have a problem, a problem knowing they're watching your every move? Samantha, no, because I use the phone responsibly. Josh, oh, so you wouldn't mind if I looked over your shoulder when you use the phone then? Samantha, well, that's never going to happen. Josh, so there you go then. Samantha, no, there I don't go, because you're on punishment. I'm not. <laughs> Josh, don't forget I have some potentially damaging information. <laughs> Samantha, look, I really don't care what you do with your own stuff. I just need to know you're not using my phone to do anything illegal or pornographic. Josh, all right, you can watch me. This is going to suck. He reaches for the phone. Samantha, holding it back. Hold it, buddy boy. Aren't we forgetting something? Josh, pissed off. What? Samantha, what do you know about me and Kamala? Josh, you and Kamala? Samantha, oh my God, she told you about us. Josh, what are you talking about? Samantha, wait, you didn't know we were dating? Josh, wait, wait, he's your boyfriend? Samantha, no, and he isn't a he. Oh my God, you too? Besides the correct pronoun is they. Josh, they? Samantha, yeah, Kamala is gender neutral, so they prefer not to be called she or he. Josh, yeah, but I'll bet when you're having sex, you're glad they's a boy. Samantha, no, they's a girl anatomically. Josh, really? She, he, they? Oh my God, this is way too confusing. Samantha, get used to it. Josh, well, that person said they were a boy when I met her. Him. Samantha, yeah, never mind. She just said that after you hit on her. She's not a boy, Josh, at least in that sense. Josh, oh, you know, you knew about that? How do you know she's not bluffing you? Samantha, because she's my friend. You'd think I would know my own friends. Anyway, she's thinking about changing her anatomy anyway. Josh, but doesn't transgender mean she already? Samantha, you mean had a sex change? Not necessarily. Wow, I can't believe of all the people I'm talking to you about this. Transgender means how you identify yourself, not what you got down there. She wants to be genderless, not boy or girl. Josh, and you're cool with that? I mean, that makes you half gay, half straight. Samantha, not really, because that would only be if she had a gender identity, which she doesn't. Anyway, I told her not to do it, but it's her life, and she's got a right to live it the way she wants. So that's everything. Please don't blow our secret. Josh, I won't blow your secret. I know how Stone Age mom and dad are. Samantha, thank you. But I mean our secret, yours and mine. The only other person who knows this is Kamala herself. But only you and I know that you know. Josh, huh? Samantha, oh my God, you can't even follow plain English. Kamala doesn't know I told you about her sex status or about us dating, so please don't blow it for me. Josh, as long as I got the phone, so you'd rather be gay. Samantha, no, that's not true at all. Actually, I'd rather not even talk about that part at all. Just go use the phone for 10 minutes so I can get some sleep. Josh, 10 minutes? You gotta be kidding. Samantha, do I look like I'm kidding? Defeated? He takes the phone from her as she gives him a displeased look. She starts looking engrossed in the phone as she looks at his activity with worry. He quickly surfs through various social sites, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and starts looking frustrated. Josh, damn, I gotta sign you out and then sign in. Samantha taps her feet on the bed. He keeps busy on the phone and she kicks her feet up again in boredom. After a while, Josh is sarcastic. Oh, great, there's a D&D game going on right now and I can't even play. She looks at him with indifference. Samantha, do I look like I'm enjoying this? <laughs> I'm sitting here bored, waiting to go to bed. Josh continues to play with the phone, including a lot of signing Samantha out of her accounts and signing himself in. Samantha, don't forget to sign yourself out of all your accounts when you're done. He continues tapping on the phone frenetically, 
and Samantha finally gives in and leans back on her semi-prop pillow. Her eyes start to close. Josh quickly finger types on the phone as he notices her lack of attention, the phone revealing porn sites. Josh stares at the videos intently for a moment, then quickly closes the window and up pops the site for Bitcoin. He conducts a Bitcoin transaction very quickly, processing a 10 Bitcoin transaction in which the screen reveals a price of 81,054.90. All of a sudden, a message text drops down. Image, text, Kamala, A. Startled, Josh looks over at Samantha, is completely out, and a smile creeps upon his face. Image text being typed, Samantha. Hey! Image text being typed, Kamala. Just wanted to see if you're okay. Sorry so late. Image text being typed, Samantha. That's okay. I'm still up. Image text being typed, Kamala. Everything quiet down over there? Image text being typed, Samantha. Yeah, Josh is home safe. Image text being typed, Kamala. Listen, I'm sorry about everything. We're both going through stuff, trying to navigate through a whole new world. Image text being typed, Samantha. It's okay, no hard feelings. I love you, Kamala. Image text being typed, Kamala. I love you too, Sam. Image text being typed, Samantha. Hey, let's do something fun. Image text being typed, Kamala. At this hour, aren't you tired? Image, text being typed, Samantha. No, I'm raring to go. Let's trade naked pictures. Image, text being typed, Kamala. Excuse me? Wait a minute, who's this? Oh my God. Image, text being typed, Samantha. It's me, Samantha. Enter. Your close friend. Enter. Your good friend. Enter. Come on, it'll be fun. After all, we're in love. Heart, heart, heart. Long pause. Image, text being typed, Samantha. Hello? Enter. Kamala? Fade out. Go in.